tucked away in the quaint town of Osceen, Florida, Lemon Bluff Park is a picturesque place to experience Florida's natural beauty. Just last year, the county opened a brand new boat launch and dock system. So let's go for a river cruise to Lake Harney and explore all the area has to offer. According to a local historian, Lemon Bluff was named after the many lemon trees that were planted here by the early settlers. The indigenous people along the St. John's River would create these mounds and over time, the river carved out these beautiful bluffs. Some of the bluffs you'll come across cruising the St. John's River in Volusia County are Crow's Bluff, Hickory Bluff, Holly Bluff, Palm Bluff, and of course, our starting point, Lemon Bluff. Many creatures call the St. John's River home. Let's check in with Trey to learn about one particular rowdy reptile. As we move into summer, you may start to see or hear more of our Florida State reptile, the American alligator. When temperatures are still cool, you may see these cold-blooded animals hanging out on banking, soaking up the sun, and using their scoots like solar panels, moving heated blood throughout their bodies. However, as temperatures begin to warm up above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, alligators become more active. April through June is alligator mating season and male alligators can travel great distances looking for potential mates and may become territorial during this time. Sometimes you will hear these great big growls that are called bellows, which can be used to attract a mate or to warn off potential competition. Caution should be taken around these prehistoric creatures and a few safety tips include leaving them alone, not feeding them, swimming only during daylight hours, and making sure to keep a close eye on small children and pets. The St. John's River connects many water bodies across the state of Florida. Lisa is here to tell us more about one of Volusia's largest lakes along this route. Lake Harney is one of the many beautiful lakes you can visit along the St. John's River. It has a surface area of nine square miles and an average depth of seven feet, and it spans both Volusia and Seminole counties. Lake Harney was named after William Selby Harney. Born in 1800, he grew up to join the military and was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel by President Jackson. Colonel Harney served at Fort Mellon during the Second Seminole War. Steamboats played an important role by providing offshore aid during attacks and also with assisting the exploration of yet uncharted waters. It is believed in 1837, Colonel Harney along with Lieutenant Davidson traveled from Fort Mellon to Lake Harney and created the first map of that section of the St. Johns River. Colonel Harney later went on to serve in both the Mexican War and the Sioux Expedition and retired from the military in 1863. Thank you so much for joining us today as we cruised along the St. Johns River from Lemon Bluff to Lake Harney. I hope that the history and the wildlife that we shared with you today inspires you to get out here and explore one of the many beautiful areas of Volusia County. I'm Lisa. I'm Trey. I'm Tracy. I'm Heather, and we hope you have a bodily awesome Volusia today.